our group, our research team has been working in, in southern Tanzania for, for a few years now, and we've found a very exciting new type of crocodile. This animal is very small compared to what you think of uh, for typical crocodiles. The skull was about three and a half inches in length. It would easily fit in the palm of your hand. And the, the rocks in which this animal uh, uh, were found are, are dated at about 105 million years. So it's actually quite old. It's during the time of the dinosaurs, during the Cretaceous period. And what's so special about this new crocodile, it's what the teeth look like in this. And if you were to find um, just a tooth from this animal, there's no way that you would ever think it was a crocodile of any kind. Uh, a couple of other interesting things about this new crocodile that, that once again make it stand out is that the nose openings, the nose holes if you will, actually were directed forward instead of up. Um, and that's very suggestive of an animal that in fact does not live in water at all, but was actually an animal that was up and living in what we call the terrestrial environment or land living animal. And one other interesting uh, bit of uh, anatomy about this new animal is its limbs, its fore and hind limbs. This animal had relatively long and slender limbs. We, we might um, think about it moving around quite uh, in quite an agile way um, amongst the vegetation. The best comparison of animals that are alive today would be something like um, a standard house cat or you know maybe a possum. You know, so we're talking an animal of about that. Uh, body size. One of the things that stands out about this crocodile is uh, the nature of the teeth and, and it's very different in a, in a couple of ways. Uh, first off, it has distinct types of teeth. Instead of having a just a, a basic conical tooth like you would see in most crocodiles, here we see a distinct canine-like tooth followed by a series of small conical teeth and towards the back of the jaw, two large molar-like teeth. And having teeth that are distinctive like that along the tooth row is, is something that we typically think of uh, as a mammalian feature. And if we consider how these teeth may have um, functioned, you might um, consider that those large canine-like teeth at the front of the jaw would have been used for acquiring the food. The middle teeth are moving the, the food product further back into the mouth and then those molar, that's where the business is being done in that those teeth are working together to process food. So to place this Tanzanian crocodile into a, a comparative perspective, I've been doing museum work in different parts of the world, different parts of the United States. I spent time in the Kenyan National Museum in Nairobi, Kenya. And in doing so, looking at other crocodiles that have been discovered from, in this case, East Africa. So that, that's kind of our first point of comparison. When we find something in Tanzania, it might make sense. Well, what did the other crocodiles that were alive at that time and living close by, what did they look like? Are they similar? Are they different? Taken together, we see a number of features in this group of small-bodied terrestrial crocodiles, that is, land-living crocodiles, that is suggestive that they may be exploiting a niche that would otherwise belong to the mammals. And we know that the mammals occupied that niche in the northern hemisphere, small body size, the diversity of different skull shapes and tooth shapes. So mammals were doing that in the northern hemisphere. In the southern hemisphere, the Notosuchian crocodiles seem to be diversifying in such a way that they were likely exploiting a niche that otherwise would be considered a place where mammals would be very successful.